In this module, we will explore the fundamental building blocks of every installation of Kali, namely packages and meta packages. You will learn what kinds of functionality is available to Kali and how to create customized instances of Kali by picking and installing only the tools and capabilities that you need. Before we can explore the meta packages available to Kali, we need to understand exactly what a meta package is. We do this first by understanding what a package is. Remember that Kali Linux is built upon Debian Linux. In Debian, you distribute and install files such as software and source code and documentation using a package. Packages are archive files that contain both binary and textual information and the instructions for where and how to install those files. If a package does not contain files that it depends on, it can find where to get them. Because almost everything in Linux is a type of file, almost anything in Linux can be stored, redistributed, and installed using a package. You can even make packages yourself. A meta package is a simple and convenient way to install multiple packages on a Linux system. A meta package does not actually store other packages inside of itself. Instead, it contains a list of packages and even other meta packages and all of the information required to locate and install them. A Linux package installer reads the meta package information and installs each package referenced by the meta package. Therefore, you can think of a meta package as a package about other packages. That's basically the meaning of the word meta in the name. So meta packages are useful for installing, updating, and removing multiple packages on a Linux system. Meta packages are also useful for grouping packages by their relationship, allowing specialized types of tools to be installed, updated, or removed together. Offensive Security creates meta packages for Kali specifically to allow users of Kali to determine how they want to customize their own installed instances of Kali. There are over 600 packages associated with Kali Linux. Having groups for these packages helps us realize what types of tools are available for Kali and what the capability of our Kali installation is. Let's take a look at these meta package groups. The system's meta package group contains all of the meta packages used to build the installation for the different operating platforms that Kali supports. Kali Linux Core is the base Kali system that is always included in every installation, including all of the system meta packages that you will see here. Kali Linux Default is the standard installation for Kali on AMD64 i386 computers and includes the standard distribution of tools found in Kali and a default graphical desktop. Most Kali installations will use the default meta package and the user will install additional tools as needed. Kali Linux Headless contains the packages used to create a Kali installation that does not require a graphical user interface. Devices that are command line only or accessed only remotely over a network are typical examples that can use headless Kali. The Kali Linux ARM meta package is used to install all of the tools suitable for an ARM hardware platform, such as the Raspberry Pi. And Kali Linux NetHunter are the tools that are part of the Kali NetHunter installation for Android devices. You will typically install only one of these meta packages after you install Kali Linux itself, but you may add and remove individual tools as you see fit. The desktop group of meta packages supports any Kali installation that will require a graphical user interface. This group begins with the Kali desktop core meta package for the tools required for any Kali GUI support. The remaining meta package is used to install a specific type of desktop environment or window manager. You can see from the meta package names that common desktops like GNOME and KDE are available, as are a few that you've never heard of but might like to try. There are so many tools in the Kali Linux repository that the tools meta packages are divided into two groups. The tools group contains the bulk of the tools that operate from the command line.
you can see by the meta packages names that there is a considerable amount of technology and capability supported by these ethical hacking tools. Many of these tools do not appear in the Kali desktop main menu. Instead, you just open a terminal emulator window and use them from the command line. The menu group of meta packages contains the Kali tools that when installed, are accessible from the main menu on the Kali desktop. If you have never used Kali, here is what the menu looks like when it drops down from the Kali desktop toolbar. You will see these menu item groups that correspond to the Kali Tools menu meta packages. The default installation of Kali does not install every available tool, so some of these menu groups may look quite empty. However, after installing the Meta package for that main menu group, you will see many more tools appear that are now installed and accessible from that menu. Here is the Kali Tools Meta Packages documentation on the Kali.org website. You can see what tool is installed by each Meta package and also find the link to the official documentation for each tool too. And finally, the Others group contains all of the Meta packages that don't fit into any of the other groups. The Kali Linux Large Meta package is a larger set of default tools for the AMD 64 i386 installation images. Kali Desktop Live installs all of the packages used during a live boot Kali session. And Kali Linux Everything is every tool and every Meta package associated with Kali. If you want to install everything Kali has to offer and have a lot of free disk space, try installing a Kali installation image first and the Kali Linux Everything Meta Package last. And have fun! Before I wrap up this very brief introduction to Kali Meta Packages, you need to understand two things. First, Kali Linux itself is not installed using Meta Packages. Kali is installed using Kali installation images, and I cover that in another module. Meta packages are used to build Kali installation images and update and modify Kali itself after installation. Second, everything in Kali Linux Meta packages is free to use and redistribute under the Debian project licensing agreement. The maintainers of Kali Linux are very diligent in making sure that no restrictive licensing agreements lay hidden in a package somewhere that may one day cause you trouble through misuse. So feel free to enjoy the tools in Kali Linux.